Hello everyone, welcome back. You may have seen a rocket going up or a water fountain or in any point of moment in your life, you may got a chance to throw a ball towards sky. All these things have something in common and that is projectile motion. In today's story, we are going to talk about projectile motion and then we are going to train a neural network to generate the projectile path. The purpose of this video is to understand how better a neural network can understand these projectile motion because these are governed by highly non-linear functions. So without waiting, let's start. The story goes way behind when Galileo was working on some experiment and figured out that whenever we throw some particle towards the sky with the effect of gravity it follows a parabolic path. So that was the first observation that he has noted down on the article named as two new sciences. And after that lot of innovations happened on top of the theory and we figured out some form of a mathematical function which can define this motion in a simpler way. But looking on that time technology and the data on hand, it was pretty difficult and lot of assumptions were also being taken to figure out a perfect equation to govern these projectile motions. If you see the equation, it is made out of sine, cosine, squares. All these three functions are quite complex. If you see the sine function wave, you will figure out that the wave have fluctuations going forward and it oscillates around zero mean line. Same happens with the cos one. If you see the equation, the actual function contains square functions. There is a purpose behind that. If you see the sine square wave going forward, you will realize that it is actually fluctuating above the zero ground because all the negative terms squared becomes positive in the wave. This projectile motion is also made out of square function. So let's see how y is equal to x square or a parabolic equation looks like. But even after that, making up a perfect equation was pretty difficult. You may be thinking that how much time and efforts it would have taken on the past time when it was invented. In today's video, first we will try to create some simulations with help of this equation and generate a lot amount of data to train a neural network. With this particular moment of time, you can understand with help of deep learning, we can easily understand this sort of behavior within 15 minutes of training of a neural network. So that is the power of deep learning. So let's get into the simulation part where we will see the equation form and how the motion actually looks like in a 3D plane. We will try to throw four balls one by one and all these four balls will be thrown the different initiation angle and different velocity. And we will see the trajectory of the path. So you may be seeing on the screen the orange line which is taking care of your x, y and z axis if some projectile hits that orange line and goes down below to the origin. On the left hand side, you will be able to see the elevations of the projectile. And whenever it goes below to the origin line, you will be seeing the negative numbers coming over there. All these projectiles has given a horizontal span of 30 meters. So I have not kept any restriction whenever the projectile goes beyond the origin line or below to the surface. So our first ball we are throwing up with a 15 meter per second initial velocity and 30 degree as an angle of throw. Now with the second throw, we are going to increase the angle of throw by 60 degree while keeping the initial velocity 15 meter per second. Here, how it looks like. In the third simulation, we are going to increase some speed by 20 meter per second and putting an angle of 45 degree.
and in our final or fourth simulation we are going to reduce the velocity by a substantial amount to 10 meter per second and putting the angle as 60 degree and you can see that it is going way below to the origin so this is the way how a simple classical physics equation was able to simulate the motions and we know that for figuring out this equation our scientists have given lot of efforts now we will try to solve this problem with help of deep learning we will start with a small step so first i tried to create a single neuron neural network a neural network which is only having one neuron inside and that neuron was utilizing relu function in itself and we can guess what would have been the results yes so we got a straight line going upwards which only simulates the upward motion not the downfall and that is pretty obvious because we are only utilizing a single relu function here now coming to the next step we tried with little bit complex neural network where the first hidden layer was having one neuron with relu activation and second layer one neuron with sigmoid activation recall how the shape of these activation looks like we have this is as an relu function and this is as an sigmoid function and we got little bit better results as expected but still we have to go one step further so in our third try we tried with a little bit complex neural network with one layer of sigmoid and the other layer of soft sine function if you want to check about soft sine function go to the description you will get a link there when we tried with this neural network because it was having 10 neurons in its first layer and 10 neurons in the second hidden layers and we tried with different iterations and here are the results from different iterations as you can see we were utilizing a simple optimizer and till i think 40th iteration it was still not able to get the downward fall of the projectile but after that it gained the accuracy and we were been able to figure out the exact path of a projectile and this all happened with only 15 minutes of training remember how complex was the function and how we were been able to figure out the same trajectory or i can say a very very matching trajectory with help of a deep neural network this is how a neural network comes handy to understand these nonlinear functions so guys if you have liked today's video don't forget to press the subscribe button and the bell icon because i used to come up with same such videos every single week if you have not seen my last video click on the end screen icon and check out what is this neural network which performs pretty well on mobile devices and why it is so till then bye bye